G'day cheeky dogs and welcome to Rusty Week where we are talking all things Rusty and the episode Cricket from Bluey Season 3. Now, not surprisingly, this episode Cricket had a lot of cricket jokes and terminology and references in it, so I'm going to break down every single one of those and what it means in layman's terms. The basic ones, of course, is the cricket ball is a ball, the cricket bat is a bat, but there's more to cricket than just that. But cricket's just about hitting a ball around the grass. Cricket's about more than that, kid. So, starting off with a basic one. Who's that? Whose bat basically just means whose turn is it to hit the ball with the cricket bat. Some other fun little just cricket references, especially to Australian cricket brands, was the type of cricket bats that they actually used. So in the Watonga Park, when all the kids are playing together with the adults, they're using an actual Kanga cricket set. And we know this because, of course, the iconic colours are yellow and green, but the Behind Blue podcast also said that, yes, this is what they were using. G'day, I'm Dan Brum, and I was the sound designer for cricket. And so the big challenge of the episode was to just sell that game of park cricket which is so particular in Australia because we use those Kanga cricket bats which are the plastic kind of hollow cricket bats hitting a tennis ball which is just it's a unique sound right like you don't get that from a cricket library because it's so specific Kiss the ball Bluey the ball really fast To bowl just means the act of delivering the cricket ball to the batsman. The Behind Blue podcast also let us know that they use Steve Smith as the reference for the pull shot. I looked at a lot of reference. I I looked at Steve Smith. There's a breakdown of how to do a pull shot. Rusty has to do one at the end. That's my favourite shot in the episode, Rusty's pull shot with the Kanga cricket bat. You did that, did you? As well as Brett Lee for the reference for the fast bowl as well. And Brett Lee was the other one I copied his his run-up for the fast bowl. Two very famous cricketers in Australia. Australia, and it was really cool to see that this is what they use to make sure that they could recreate with such accuracy what cricket really looks like. Six and out! Six and out is actually a backyard cricket term that means that you have hit the ball over the fence or over the boundary and it means that you're out and you have to go get the ball. But the six part means that you are awarded six runs to reflect the great shot that you have just hit. And that's what Stripe got. Four bits! Four bits actually just refers to the term four, which in cricket means that you have scored four runs. Now this is when the batsman, in this case Rusty, has hit the ball into the boundary line. In this case, the fence. Now there is a bit of a catch though. The four runs is only given if the ball bounces or rolls on the ground before it hits the boundary line, which is also what we see in the slow-mo here. You right with a bit of swing, Rusty? Now when they're talking about swing, they're talking about about a bowling style that's usually employed by fast or medium pace bowlers. This makes the ball swing or curve in the air. And they do this actually by polishing the ball on one side only to help create the swing. Not yet, Dusty. I'm almost at 50. Rusty would have played 50 more. Now and this 50 just means 50 runs, but it can also be referred to as a half century. Look, he likes the square cut. A square cut is a shot that's hit into the offside at near or close to a 90 degree angle from the wicket where the batsman is and we see Rusty practicing this specific square cut a lot in this scene here next to his house. Now I do also want to mention the one really incredible cricket reference to a specific cricket player in this episode and that was Donald Bradman. Donald Bradman is considered like the goat of Australian cricket. He's one of our all-time best for the time in which he was actually playing and something really interesting is the parallels between him and Rusty. We see Rusty basically becoming self-taught or self-made into an amazing cricket player at the end of this episode. In particular, the thing that looks a lot like Donald Bradman's situation is when Rusty is practicing his square cut against the side of his house near the water tank. Donald Bradman actually did a really similar thing, but with a golf ball. And there's some pictures of him where he was practicing against the side of his house as well, just trying to perfect his technique. Neither of them, you could see, were actually practicing with a coach. They were just self-taught and self-made. And that's possibly why Rusty is the Donald Bradman of cricket in the Bluey verse. But that's just my little theory as well as a few other people who love Bluey and Cricket have also mentioned this online. But let me know down below, Cheeky Dogs, what you've thought about this. Stripe, you and me will move to Gully and Point. Now, Gully here refers to Lucky's dad's position. So it is a close fielder near the slip fielders or at an angle or a line between the two sets of stumps. Whereas Point, which is Stripe's position, is another fielding position really square off the batsman's offside. You send one to his off stump. Off stump refers to the wicket. Specifically, the off stump is the stump on the side of the wicket that's the same side as the batsman's bat so in this case Rusty's bat there's also like the middle stump and then the leg stump and that's going to come back into play in a little bit lure him into the cat 
catch. And then of course, the term lure him into the catch is pretty simple. Just lure him into hitting on that side. Give me that. I've had enough of your pies. Now when Strack says pies, he's referring to a poor bowler. So someone who's usually slow or medium place. And the idea of it is that their bowls or their balls are similar to like a pie in the sky. So it's considered to be like really easy to score off them. The phrase apparently originates with Rod Marsh, who is a former Australia wicketkeeper in 1993. Now presumably clowns is what he had in mind when he used this phrase, but it was never really specified. But the term caught on and now it's just called pies. Bit of spin, okay, Rusty? Spin is another style of bowling in which a spin bowler or a spinner attempts to deceive the batsman, in this case Rusty, by imparting some spin on the ball using either their fingers or their wrist. Now spin bowling is meant to be really effective because it makes the ball travel slowly, usually around 40 or 55 miles per hour, and that's what makes it difficult to hit. So he got pretty good at playing on a rough wicket. Now, a rough wicket might seem a little bit weird because we know wickets are meant to be like the three stumps at the end of the cricket pitch. However, wicket can also refer to the pitch as well. Yes, I know, confusing. It also can refer to the dismissal of a batsman, but in this case here, they're just talking about a rough pitch and that's the trees in the ground. He can handle stripes fruit any day. Ha! Fruit also can be used as the term fruit salad in cricket and this is a technique in the sport where the bowler delivers a different type of move or delivery each time and we see Stripe doing this by saying that he's going to do some spin or he's going to try and do a trick ball and make it land in the crack. So that idea of fruit salad, lots of different types of fruit, lots of different types of bowls. Time for a pace attack. And Rusty's was pace. Okay. Now, pace attack means pace bowling, also known though as fast bowling. It's a style of bowling in which the ball is delivered at really high speeds, typically 90 miles per hour or 145 kilometers per hour. Step in front <laughs> and play a full shot. Now when Rusty's dad says to step in front and play a pull shot, obviously the step in front part is pretty obvious, take a step in front of the wicket, but the pull shot is a type of shot that's played to the leg side, so in this case we can see Rusty hitting it to his left side, different to the square cut where he hits it to his right side. And that was all the cricket terminology that we saw in this episode Cricket. That's what cricket's about, kid. Were there any of these terms that you didn't know of before? Or was there anything else in this episode that maybe you didn't quite understand? Let me know in that comment section down below. I would love to know what you guys thought about all this Australian cricket slang that you heard in this episode. I do have two more Rusty videos coming out for Rusty Week. We have a Rusty Theory video about his socioeconomic position, if his family is poor, what's going on with that. And also another video which is going to do a deep dive into his family history or his family tree, as well as his older brother Digger's friends as well. And those will be coming out this weekend. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well as that bell for notifications so you know when those videos come out. But until then, cheeky dogs, I have picked you out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I'll see you all in another video. Mwah! Bye! Bye.